you know, we're talking about, I don't know if this is going to be much of a debate, and I pity the fool or some Mr. T shit, whoever <laughs> defies this. Yeah, I, I saw a Facebook post going around. It was everywhere. It went viral. Someone said that Lauren Hill wasn't a legend. She only made a legendary album. And uh, this shit what? irritated me to mm -hmm. the core. You had this Lauren Hill, one of the greatest MCs of all time. Not a femc. No. She's better than, I mean, it's arguable that had she did more work, Lauryn Hill would have been, you know, in the top 10 rivaling mm. uh, most men that we put in that in that topic. I mean, she could mm. rap on a high level, she could sing on a high level, and, and whoever said that really lacked perspective because they're looking at just her one album, The Miseducation, which has aged very well. We still talk about the nigga Zion is like 24 right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then, but they don't look back at <laughs> the album she had with the Fugees. But I want to, I want to bring in uh, Martina. What do you think about the statement, Martina? What do you think about Lauren Hill? Man, that's crazy. I feel like uh, she's a legend just because of the fact that still to this day nobody has done what she's done. And then it's the fact that her album has went platinum over and over again. Like you know what I'm saying? It's just like it's untouchable. Diamond, eleven, eleven times platinum. Diamond. Yeah. Wow. Slice, do you want to weigh in on this, Slick Vic? So I think that, um, one, that's blasphemy. It's very, so it's a blasphemous statement. Um, it's a very ignorant statement. Um, I think that a lot of the, the, mm -hmm. myth, the mythos surrounding Lauryn Hill alone makes her legendary, but also infamous in a way that people pay attention to a lot of the, the, the mythos of Lauryn Hill and forget about the artistic substance that is Lauryn Hill. Like, for one, The Miseducation of Lauryn Hill is a legendary album by a legendary artist, but it's not even her only contribution as an artist or contribution to the culture as a whole. Like, Lauryn Hill is a legend because one of her, her ability to do multiple things as an artist, singing and emceeing, um, her live performance is legendary. Um, she was on not just a legendary album of her own making as a solo artist, but also a legendary album as a group. Um, a legendary group album, the score by the Fugees was a classic even before her album was a classic. So she was a part of that legendary album. Then you could argue that even though Y Clef had more albums, she might have had the best single album out of anyone from that group. Um, definitely, we compared her album to Prod's album. That's not even a discussion. You know why? You know some people might say the Carnival was in the same on the same level as classic album as Lauryn Hill's album. But I think the Miseducation of Lauryn Hill that album has has weathered the test of time even more than any of the solo Y Clef Jean releases. Um, and then you look at she was in a legendary film and Sister Act. Two, you know, she play, had a legendary role, a legendary film, and it's probably the most memorable character from that movie. Um, and then let's not even get into, you know, the legendary aspect of her celebrity when you talk about, you know, her and the Marley, the Marley guy getting married, and you know, the, how many kids does she have? Where is she the at? She disappeared. The like family. even even the celebrity gossip aspect of Lauren Hill. How how late is she going to show up for her show? Like all of that <laughs> even adds yeah. to the mythos. And then, not to mention, she had a legendary unplugged album. Like, out of all the unplugged MTV albums, hers might be the most legendary. It's probably between hers, Pearl Jam's, and Nirvana's, you know. And then um, Jay-Z's probably, too, is up there. But a legendary unplugged album. Like, when she spit that poem at, like, the end of the set, just straight bars, like, <laughs> like was like, it oh, wow. like, nobody even knew about those bars. Like, what song was that? Nobody even knew. It was like exclusive bars. Like, so, yeah, it's, 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 it's a nonsense statement. But I would say I, the mindset that creates that statement is steeped in people knowing more about Lauryn Hill, the myth, than they do about Lauryn Hill, the legend. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And yeah. I would give Illa Soul a chance to respond because I know he's been brewing. We talked off air and he was really, really frustrated about this topic. Man. So, brother, the floor is yours. <laughs> oh, we talking about this album. This album. This one. Okay, so uh, I just, <laughs> it just it's, it's, it's kind of crazy because for people, for whoever that girl is that said that, like, oh, she's not a legend. She just made, like, a legendary album. It's just, like, 
what 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 prompted you to say that? And it's just that's just weird to me. Like we're talking about Lauren Hill. Like they're she's miseducated. not in the category, she's not in the category with nobody. Like she is the category, like she's definitely the category. Like just the legendary shit that she has done. This album, like when you, when you listen to it from the beginning to the end, right? Like, understand this. Like, do people understand even the artwork of the album, right? Like, she, like, this is a desk of her face carved, like, carved into the desk. The title is carved, in, carved into the desk. And she has a pencil up there. Everybody can relate to this. She took people back to school of how, of how it feels to be Black. Like, she's been on this pro-Black shit for the longest time. Like, a lot of, if you listen to this album, a lot of people have found their divine, like, their, their divine entity from that. They, define, they they found their essence of themselves. As a Black person, you found the essence of yourself through this album. You find yourself. You know what it's like to be a, like, you feel the power from this uh from this album. As a Black woman, too, like, she gave, like, she, she like, breathed life into the Black man and the Black woman at the same time in this album. It's just like, how can people, and, and that girl that made this, that statement, she didn't. She. It's no way she listened to this album. It's no way she listened to it. If she did, she probably listened to a couple. She probably listened to like the popular songs, and then said, "Oh, it didn't make her opinion." But your know, opinion, like that shit, is just invalid to me. Like this album is the greatest album of all time. Like wow, and this is what coming is from like this shit should be in a in a museum somewhere. It really should. <laughs> Martin, as, as, like, as a black woman, Martin, how, what did Lauren Hill mean to you, her imagery? And then as an MC, how does she influence you to MC at the level that you do? Everything that she's done, I feel like definitely paved like a way for artists like me. Because it's like, when I listen to women like Lauren Hill, it's like, <laughs> she's someone who's done like what I'm attempting to do and like what I would love to accomplish one day. So it's like, I don't see how any like young woman or like a woman of my generation could like disrespect somebody of her status you know what I'm saying because it's just like she's just done so much like for the culture for hip-hop for R&B and for music as a whole it's like um her music just touches people differently and I want to have that same effect like when I'm doing my music and when people are listening to me so it's like I feel like a lot of the artists today and a lot of my music wouldn't resonate the same if it wasn't for like Lauren Hill, you know what I'm saying? I like, feel you. Uh, I feel you. Mm. I want to say too that you know Lauren Hill just the the positive imagery that she portrayed for black women as opposed to some of the other sisters out there. She wasn't over sexualized. She yeah. was beautiful in her natural state. She didn't pay for titties and ass or anything like that, any enhancements. She wore her natural hair mm -hmm. and all those things are just very very important to see that she was very intellectual the concepts the storytelling the musicality the level of lyricism and then the um the world-class vocal ability she, that she displayed she, she was she unbelievable was, so anybody that that would say that they really lack perspective and they they, uh, they need to be re-educated how about and, that and, <laughs> and, and to pick so many of those off hit off. songs off of the score wouldn't have been the same without her Without vocalization on there talking about you know ready or not and, the like, remake of the jackson five song ready or not Lou and hill did on, that yo, let me like, pick you yeah, are you kidding go, go ahead go ahead go ahead uh, raymond what do you have to say a lot of people because when Dr all right this is when drake first came out right and he was doing like the singing and the rapping and shit people act like that was like the most rarest shit that they ever seen but lauren hill been doing that and doing drake it better sing he pop scenes but what i'm saying is like lauren hill been embodied both talents like she's been she's a soul that. singer like she's she's a soul singer the fact that any the fact first of all if you are a black woman right forget all that if you're a black person and you listen to this album and you have that type of and you have that type of opinion it's such as what the girl said something is wrong because this right here is this is putting the power back into black people this is putting like think about it at that time right especially look at the time that we were like, at, at the time like things were happening back then too right lauren hill decided she wanted to take her own route and people really like look at her story she's been through a whole lot even not even just in the personal life but in the music industry too just being a woman being a black woman and still finding the power to empower her people through an album and this still resonates to this day this is what black this is what black empowerment looks like 
in, in a music form and in a physical form. This is what black empowerment is. All that false empowerment shit people doing today. What I was when I was born. Is, a black man. Your racism bounces off me, I'm bulletproof. Your prejudice gets deflected, I'm bulletproof. Your hatred can't penetrate me, I'm bulletproof. Our minds can't be shackled no more. Nah, we know the truth.